Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm 50 years old. I am a nurse and a breast cancer survivor times two. I was not thinking that reconstruction was for me. I think I was, uh, I was mad at breasts in general at the time. A couple months later, I think I was a little bit more out of my funk. I was pretty vulnerable. I was not exactly sure what could be done. Um, because I did do the delayed reconstruction. And based on my situation, he felt like implants were the best option for me. I was just, just starting to get my hair growing back from chemo and um, he just looked at me and said, I really like your haircut and was so sincere. I, I just knew instantly he was gonna take good care of me. When I met with the plastic surgeon, he did also show me all the different implant options, but he clearly thought the Natrell Inspira Cohesive was gonna be the best for me, for the look that I was hoping for. I was hoping to look the same in clothing as I did before my cancer journey. I love my results. It was exactly what I was hoping for. I have no regrets. I'm very glad I did it. It's a long journey to get there, but I'm very, very happy. Do your research up front. Um, not too much, but enough that you know who you're going to, what your different options are, don't be afraid to tell your family and friends that you don't want to talk about it right now. When you're past treatment, I think it's really important to set a goal. I'm, I'm so thankful to be here. It's such a different level. You are, you're thankful for every day. If, if my story can help somebody skip that section of, you know, I don't want to do that, I'm just going to um, not worry about it, I, I, that's why I'm here, to help other women. Natrell Breast Implants Important Safety Information and Approved Uses Breast implants are not considered lifetime devices. The longer people have them, the greater the chances are that they will develop complications, some of which will require more surgery. Breast implants have been associated with the development of a cancer of the immune system called breast implant-associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, BIAALCL. This cancer occurs more commonly in patients with textured breast implants than smooth implants, although rates are not well defined. Some patients have died from BIAALCL. Patients receiving breast implants have reported a variety of systemic symptoms such as joint pain, muscle aches, confusion, chronic fatigue, autoimmune diseases, and others. Individual patient risk for developing these symptoms has not been well established. Some patients report complete resolution of symptoms when the implants are removed without replacement. Who can get breast implants? Natrell breast implants are approved for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone-filled implants and for women at least 18 years old for saline-filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increase the breast size and revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation. Breast reconstruction. This includes primary breast reconstruction to replace breast tissue that has been removed due to cancer or trauma or that has failed to develop properly due to a severe breast abnormality. This also includes revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast reconstruction. Who should not get breast implants? Breast implant surgery should not be performed in women with active infection anywhere in their body, women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions, women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What should I tell my doctor? Tell your doctor if you have any of the following conditions as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, example, 
lupus and scleroderma, a weakened immune system, example, taking medications to decrease the body's immune response, planned chemotherapy or radiation therapy following breast implant placement, conditions or medications that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting, reduced blood supply to breast tissue, clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders, including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders. Those with diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What else should I consider? There is a boxed warning for breast implants. Please see bold text at beginning. Many changes to your breasts following implantation are irreversible. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes, which may be permanent. Breast implantation is likely not a one-time surgery. The longer implants are in place, the greater the potential risk for complications. You will likely need additional surgeries on your breasts due to complications or unacceptable cosmetic results. Thus, you should also consider the complication rates for later revision surgery, since you may experience these risks in the future. Cancer treatments and surgery will affect the outcome and timing of breast reconstruction. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed, either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone filled breast implant is most often silent. Even if you have no symptoms, you should have your first ultrasound or MRI at five to six years after your initial implant surgery, and then every two to three years thereafter, regardless of whether your implants are for augmentation or reconstruction. If you have symptoms of or uncertain ultrasound results for breast implant rupture, an MRI is recommended. Additional imaging may be required depending on your medical history and status. The health consequences of a ruptured silicone gel-filled breast implant have not been fully established. Routine screening mammography for breast cancer will be more difficult, and implants may rupture during the procedure. Perform self-examination every month for cancer screening and ask your surgeon to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Lumps, persistent pain, swelling, hardening, or changes in implant shape should be reported to your surgeon and possibly evaluated with imaging. What are key complications with breast implants? Key complications include reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture with silicone-filled implants, implant deflation with saline-filled implants, and capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include include breast pain, swelling, asymmetry, wrinkling, rippling, implant malposition, nipple complications, hypertrophic scarring, and implant palpability visibility. Talk to your doctor about other complications. For more information, see the patient brochures at www.allergan.com products. To report a problem with Natrell breast implants, please call Allergan at 1-800-624-4261. The sale and distribution of Natrell breast implants is restricted to licensed physicians who provide information to patients about the risks and benefits of breast implant surgery.